Developing tonight, the latest effort by the state of Michigan to make sure your drinking water is safe uh, has been to test the to, for contaminants of PFAS. And new data is showing that Michigan has more contamination than any other state. Jason Colthorpe is here to explain it for us. Jason? Yeah, and it's actually explainable and not nearly as worrisome as it seems, according to the state. It's all fallout from the Flint water crisis and the state not wanting to take any kind of chance when it comes to PFAS. This map comes with an attention grabbing headline. Michigan has the most PFAS contaminated sites in the U.S. PFAS is polyfluoroalkyl substances, chemical compounds that have been found in industrial products since the 1940s and are now being identified to limit any potential harm, like ending up in people's drinking water. Now back to the map. The good news is that Michigan is lit up like a Christmas tree because the state says we're one of the few states actively looking for PFAS. Michigan, in fact, was the first to test drinking water in every community, school, and daycare in the state. And of that, 90% have no detectable levels of PFAS. The better news is, according to the Great Lakes Water Authority, PFAS is not in our water source. The contamination happens when things containing PFAS, like firefighting foam, seeps into the groundwater and into private wells. The bottom line is this map is actually a good thing for Michigan. The former DEQ, now the Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy told us this today. While most states are taking a wait and see approach and the federal government moves slowly, here in Michigan we're committed to working together to root out this contaminant, protect at-risk populations and drive down exposure levels. No state is moving faster along so many fronts. Now, during those tests, only two locations, the city of Parchment and an elementary school in Robinson, which is west of Grand Rapids, were found to have PFAS in drinking water that was higher than the EPA health advisory level. Those were dealt with and are using substitute water from, mm -hmm. from here on out. You talked about it a little bit at 5 o'clock. PFAS is also related to that mystery substance, that oozy kind of stuff that was coming out in Melvindale. Yeah, tests are back on that, and it was highly concentrated with PFAS levels, as a matter of fact. The next step there is to identify the source, but what they think that is is basically firefighting foam, not from the two sources they originally were looking at, Marathon Oil or the railroad, but now they just need to nail it down. These things are in so many goods, though, that we yeah. all use every day now. The last oh, eight years. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Okay, Jason.